The biggest challenges when it comes to the color grading is the startup positions. Hello, my name is Director Kim. Welcome back to the channel. What is the startup positions? Startup position is the where the place that we tell our final output. Look, when it comes to the color grading, one of the big things that you're thinking is our final results. We got the footage on our desk. What we think is our final output, and there is a lot of outputs. Let's say uh, maybe we want a very high dynamic picture. We had less dynamic picture. We want the very colorful image, cinematic, commercial, stuff like that, high key. That is our output. That is our final output. So the biggest challenges is when we come to our starting positions, especially to the color management. And today in this video, I want to show you something amazing. And I've been working for a while and I've been treating me perfectly when I want to color grade it, especially when I want to create some cinematic film look. All right, let's go back to the challenge. As you can see to our footage, we have a two options of doing our output starting positions. First, we have to make sure we correct perfectly our color management. And this is where we tell our outputs we are about to use the Rec 709, SRGB, Rec 2020, or whatever. That is the first starting point. Right. All right. Some people, they are be about like, I want to have a film look, or I want to have commercial look, whatever. So, some people they going to use color management and uh, this was shot on s log s log 3 and they're gonna use reg 79 uh reg 79 gamma 2.4 that's it you can see the image how would it look it will look from log to rec 79 look that is our output here we can have a film look we can have commercial look high key look or a low key look whatever that we want to have to output the output is tell us what type of image we can create and then some people they be like all right so because i want some film look they can add the scene on film and then they jump straight to the uh, film look and give it its uh, film look, uh, this film look emulations. That is way our starting point. So this you have to understand before you starting do the car grading, the first thing you need to know is our outputs, how we're going to be. And this is where we, 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 we can we, we can easily work on our workflow uh, we can easily do our stuff because the output is giving us the better place that is what I'm, I'm trying to say so if you are working uh, to the color grading blind like you don't know what your result you're going to achieve and then you just go twist and trick this and this and this trust me your journey is going to be very difficult. It's about you doing something that you don't know what you're doing. You're just expecting to have a better result. But one of the best secret that I found, and it's really giving me the best result of my current grading journey these few days, is this car space transformation from DCT house. It, 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 I don't mean like doing the color grading by using color space transformation from DaVinci Resolve is not that good, but this one that I'm using is giving me very better place to start in my color grading. And it, it really giving you the free uh, color space transformation rate of nine, and it's giving you uh, the film look color space transformation as we use a film local emulations. And one of the big things that I love from it is to have, you know we're using digital camera right and having some cast issues it's it very difficult this one is giving a better room to do our place and that's why i told you our starting position is more important to understand all right let's say uh look at the difference between this 
uh, this is s log okay i'm gonna do rex09 this is our starting point from red car space transformation let's see the difference between the starting point from this place to this this city oh boom when i put in there it's giving us a much difference look at the difference between these two guys look at difference look at the car don't think don't have a you know some problem with the highlights exposure that's no issue look at the the car this one is is much of red and the room is too small but this one is much of a better skin tone the room is too big this is what i'm talking about it's the starting point our starting point it's life savior all right let's jump into our uh, options here into the color space transformations we only have few options like doing some tunnel mapping stuff like that but nothing extra here is a problem a lot of beginners they struggle in how to make color grading as pro level youtube itself can never pull up to that level director kim came out with the massive masterclass phase one and phase two which is the first one has three parties and each of her parts has long house video having an issue with the car senses color management creating different looks fixing problems how to balance proper your footage charts merging dealing with the small budget camera everything you need to know from diving to resolve masterclass has deep explanations if you really struggle with way of creating look director kim never seen enough till he made the 26 lats which is has look DNA and skin tone lat and color separations DCTR power grade also available director Kim really wants to shift you into next level have a permanent mentor who can guide you well to your journey of color grading he decided to create a whatsapp group for his own student member but remember to join a whatsapp group you need to buy one of his product either masterclass or loot package now let's back into the lesson when it comes to this uh DCTR it's giving us a much much i mean a lot of room to do our outputs the starting point okay let me start with uh they have uh, this film process uh we have the careful if you wants your output to be very careful if you wants the output to look umbra a little bit of some film tone in it but still it's it's still a the free car space but it has a film stone in it and we have the base which is normal one the base is same as this one you can see this one and this one is most similar the car it's have the options the starting points of what you want to 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 achieve to your final results so i love umbra and we have um turn scale presets as well there's a lot of them if you want high contrast a low contrast if you want uh the access output if you want that marvelous a lot of them i love using this one or sometimes uh prefer using this one you, i'm just checking out which one is giving me yeah that's one that's one works perfectly all right another thing that's having is this creating white you know in a car grading there is a uh, printing to the car uh I used to mention this a lot when it comes to the color grading the printing style like what type of style you want to print your image like especially especially this target to do the white points so if you want the pure white bluish white warm white stuff like that so the white creative white is giving you the printing to the color to the white part and black but this is specific for the white part okay you can use uh d5 which is pure white as you can see the white is is, is too much clean it's pure white so you have the starting points the starting position this is what i'm talking about this pure white give it them some i mean commercial car grading uh you can have d60 you can have d55 you can have d50 that's super warm and you can you can have used as a preset because we have the preset from uh, umbra that's looks preset and we have uh tone scale presets that is giving that's feeding 
to this creative white so you can do whatever you want and to our output this is a better place that i love we have a reg 709 uh 2.4 this is similar with the gamma 2.4 but this is reg 709 1856 and we have srgb my favorite output display this is a 2.2 as you know 2.4 2.2 is kind of bit similar both a reg 709 but a bit of dynamic and a contrast a little bit and we have reg 21 which is this is uh this is similar similar with hlg is to rec 2020 yeah rec 2020, rec 2020 is for hdr if you want to put to give in maybe you want to tv stuff like that uh rec 21 2020 2020 rec 21 they have a magic of it and another display that i love is display p3 which is also 2.2 the similar as srgb let's test this one this is a uh, normal reg 79 but this is srgb you can see have a little bit of dynamic contrast and this is display um reg 2020 but it has a less of color you can see the color a little bit less and we have reg 2020 it's it's look like flat because our outputs into here is SR, srgb so when you do like this it's because reg 2020 is so much 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 less dynamic and we have red 2020 srgb which is uh, a little bit contrasted and but less saturation and we have dolby i don't know what these guys trust me but has a lot of output so this is our starting point this is our starting position and everything that you're going to do before that giving the information to our output so that that is what collecting everything from what you done so this is our starting point you want this type of look you have doing your correction into this spot and trust me your guy grade is going to look amazing um to me i kind of love uh this one it's the same as like 20 like uh, srgb but so less saturation because i don't love more saturation car grade but this guys this looks so much film let's see uh before uh the difference between these two guys you can see how much the difference giving us you can even say let's 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 do something like um let's do something like uh we we, we correcting the exposure so you can see the full image look at this look at this Look how different these things is. Guys, hey, I kinda love this. Um, I kinda love this this thing. Trust me. <sighs> Trust me. There's no reason for me to skip in uh car grading with this DCT or uh car management. Alright, so let me show you something. Let's say uh, I want to convert it to, to this film look. You can see how uh, how close it gives it us that type of film look. Look, guys, there's nothing much difference, but the difference hour is giving us much better loom. You know, it's not like I'm not justified of film look emulation from David Russo, but trust me mostly time when i'm using film look my image castings especially to the blue line blue or some neon lights whatever i'm doing that the image is casting much and it, that is annoying me and it giving me like what the hell is going on what is this you know some lines sort of distortion happenings and i've been working a lot of film stocks especially to the Hanser Pro, it actually gave me better place. That's why I skipped using uh, film loop emulation. And I wonder if you can't, uh, you can't have that uh, money to buy the answer and you still want to get a film look. This DCTL is easy option. All right, let me show you uh, the grading that I've done by using that. Look at this color grading amazing that's why i told you it's giving me the better starting point 
Here is a problem. A lot of beginners they struggle how to make horror grading as pro level. YouTube itself can never pull up to that level. Director Kim came out with the massive masterclass phase one and phase two, which is the phase one has three parts and each of her parts has a long house video. Having an issue with the car senses, color management, creating different looks, fixing problems, how to balance proper your footage, shots merging, dealing with the small budget camera, everything you need to know from Davinci Resolve. Masterclass has deep explanations. If you really struggle with creating look, Director Kim never seen enough till he made it 26 lats which is has look DNA and skin tone lat and color separations. DCTR power grade also available. Director Kim really wants to shift you into next level. Have a permanent mentor who can guide you well to your journey of color grading. He decided to create a WhatsApp group for his own student member. But remember, to join a WhatsApp group, you need to buy one of his products, either Masterclass or Loot Package. Now, let's back into the lesson. Let me show you what I've done so far. I used the color management transformation like this you can see the same thing that i showed you and this is my loot uh it's giving me that um the frame print i mean what is that print profile from the answer pro this is a uh, codec v uh version 3 50d yeah it's giving me this the extra film look you can see and what I've done so far is just doing my normal corrections. This is my balance. But you actually you can see uh, this one and this one, there's nothing nothing much difference between these guys, but it really gave me better. And it, trust me, this color space transformation also gives some, I don't know, but I can see some extra details. Like, it gave me a very sharp image. All right, so another thing I use my loot from my loot package and i use i just did my correction for the skin tone nothing much i'll use the glow as you can see guys i've done very less of twisting but trust me the output is amazing look at this one uh look at this one look at this image look at this one guys amazing I have no words on this trust me it's super amazing all right thank you very much for watching this video this is director kim hope you enjoyed the video hope you really got something the gct is available contact me on my box so i'll give it to you please do not forget to subscribe this youtube channel do not to share forgetting that <laughs> i said something wrong <laughs>